Pisces. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week, the second week in October, the energy in October. This reading is for all of the Pisces out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your moon, your Venus, and rise and sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, you like my vibe, you feel like I am the reader for you, and you want to show some support to this channel, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell and the thumbs up image to help this video circulate. If you need something more specific, more private, and more personal, to your story the link to the email address is in the description box all right let's see what's going on with the sign of pisces what is going on okay queen of cups that is your energy all right queen of cups three of swords the nine of swords Three of Cups, I'm sorry, Queen of Cups, Three of Wands, Nine of Swords. I don't know why I say I'm, I thought it, the Hermit card, some of you may be dealing with a Virgo or someone has Virgo in their chart. We have the Page of Wands. Okay, we have the Chariot, Cancer's Energy is here. It's the Star card, Aquarius Energy is here. We have the two of wands. Came out sideways. I'm going to leave it like that. And we have the five of pentacles here. At the bottom of the deck, you walked away from something. You turned your back on something and you walked away. I feel like it was something or someone that you love. Someone that you didn't see eye to eye with. With, there was no give and take, no reciprocity. You love this person, but you had to turn your back on them. And with this three of wands, either you or this person apply the energy as it fits to your story. Someone's waiting to come in, but they're feeling anxious. They're trying to gain wisdom, clarity. They're waiting for the right time to come in. Okay, what are they waiting for? Because I see them waiting for an opportunity to come in. Like, it's a wish fulfillment for this person to come in. That's a wish of theirs. That they can come in. But come in to do what? I feel like this person... Someone is... This person is waiting to come in... With this Eight of Cups, they're waiting because you walked away, of course. Let's get one more. Oh, there we go. I feel like they're waiting to make amends with the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This person wants to come in, but they're waiting for clarity. They're not sure when would be a good time to come in. With the Hermit card, it could be a Virgo. This person needs clarity. They don't know how to come in. They're trying to figure out which path to take. They're getting advice from family and friends on how to come in because they, they're confused. This person is, has anxiety, real bad anxiety, but because they want to take action, but they don't know how to. So with the three of pentacles here, I'm seeing that this person is getting other people involved because they're ready to move forward. They might want to have a celebration with you. With this three of pentacles. If this is a um a relationship, this person wants to work things out. Could have had you in a third party and they caused some type of um separation. You walked away from them because it was a third party. But now they're anxious. They're waiting on clarity to see how they can come back in. Because they want to move forward. They could be spying on you. Could be asking about you driving past your home, your workplace. If you have a social media um, channel page or whatever, they are spying on your social media page because they do love you. And they're ready for give and take reciprocity. They're ready to balance things out, but things are blocked. 
things are blocked. They want to heal the situation with the star card and they're ready to move forward. They still have hope that things can work out, but they are, they feel like you're on the fence about um, where this is going because you're the one that walked away. Yeah, they still have hope in this after you cut them off. They still have hope. They are taming themselves at this time. It's requiring them to use all their strength and all their courage. This person may come forward. They, they are feeling alone. They're feeling alone. They feel as if, um, you know, you turned your back on them and they want to come in. They may be coming in with a gift. I'm seeing someone coming in with a gift. After a tower moment. Some of you may have put this person out of a home. Someone may have been put out of a home. But there's definitely some distance here with this world card. Could be done with a fixed sign. Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, or a Taurus. You two may live in two different homes. Two different cities. Two different states. But this person is ready to travel towards you. Because they want a new beginning. They love you. You can have children with this person. They, they want to bring in some type of stability. They're tired of being on the outs with you. And they're ready to take action to move towards you with this, this six of swords. This person is coming, coming in. But they're, they are waiting for the right opportunity. What's the outcome? What is the outcome for... Okay. Make sure no cards fall out on the floor. Yeah. I'm seeing a, a conversation taking place about maybe a little quarreling, but there is a conversation that's going to take place about what happened, what caused this heartbreak, what caused this separation. But I feel like this is just a thought in someone's mind. Because we this person is really, really overthinking a situation. Someone is really up in their head, beating themselves up because they want to converse. They want to have a conversation. They want to overcome the obstacles that are in the way of this union not moving forward. But they don't know how to come in. And they want to shake off the chains that are holding them holding them in bondage mentally but they don't they don't know how to it's something that they need to see that they're not seeing something that they want clarified and instead of them just coming forward they're just thinking about it well how do I do it when I do it am I going to be rejected this is what this person is thinking and feeling They're in their own storm, mentally. This is like a mental storm this person is in. Yeah. Because they are uncertain. They feel like they're in the dark. This person does not want to come forward to be rejected. That, that's what I'm That's what I'm hearing. They don't want to come forward and, and you not see their worth. That's what that's what this person is um experiencing right now. Yep. All of these sorts. They're up in their head at night. They're thinking about this. Is this really over? Can we move forward with a new stable beginning? I'm trying to get their attention, but they're not paying me any mind. <laughs> and this person is committed. But they feel like some, some, something secret, something is hidden and something is going on behind their back. Initials could start with a J or a B. They're very emotional. They want this cycle to come to an end and a new one to begin. Could also have the initials of T-A-R or O. Yeah. Let's pull some love oracle cards and then we are going to close this out.
I see. Cupid's arrow. So they're they still have faith. They still have faith. Okay, they still have faith. Although there is um you may be giving them the silent treatment or there is a separation, they are healing, setting themselves free, but they still have faith that things were worked out. And come back together. And, and then the situation can be healed. And you can you guys can move forward if you put forth some effort. So I'm going to leave it at that, Pisces. This is your reading for the energy in October. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you next time. Bye.